Hello, my name is Manisha and I'm the caretaker at Ananda Permaculture Farm. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around what I call my sun garden. Now this garden did not exist till about six, seven months ago. If you've been following our journey, you would know that when we started Ananda, we planted a lot of native trees just with the aim for it to rebuild the soil, to fix nitrogen, to provide biomass and to really start converting a very uh, degenerated soil into something which was rich and living. Now, so many years down the line, it was finally time for us to enter this native forest and start converting it into a little bit of a more productive space. And that's exactly what we've done here at Sun Garden. Hello there, I'm back with my brand new course on water for every landscape. In this course, you will understand what the hydrological cycle is, what your watershed is, and then learn a bunch of earthwork strategies to manage the water on your land. You will also learn how to treat the grey water so that you can treat that as a supplementary source of water. So all the description for this course is given in the description section. What are you waiting for? Click on the relevant links and sign up for the course. I will see you inside the course very soon. If you look around this space, you'll find that there are many native trees which are growing here. You'll find trees like ficus, neem, you know, bacan, satparni, people, the kapoor or camphor, teak, siris, moringa, and you name it. So there are lots of trees here which are already there. And these trees have now become quite tall over the years. The way these trees help us is that they've got very, very deep roots now. And they help to build the penetration and the porosity of the soil so that the soil can hold a lot of moisture during rainy days. You may think that under these trees nothing will grow because there's a popular perception that you cannot grow crops under trees. But if you look around the sun garden, you will see that we are actually growing crops under this huge forest canopy. This is possible because we keep trimming the lower branches of the trees and allow the trees to rise up high, thereby allowing the sun to come in through the side. Remember, in the northern hemisphere, the sun comes in from the south. So as long as we have enough space under the trees for the sun and the light to come in, we can actually take crops under the forest cover. And it's greatly beneficial for us because not only are the trees opening up the soil and building porosity but they're also home to many birds and the birds all perch on these trees provide phosphorus to these crops by the virtue of their droppings and also act as our insect repellents or rather predators of insects keeping our crop protected from pest attack so this is how you build an ecosystem in permaculture and you manage to get crops even under the tree cover now you'll see here in the middle, <clears throat> there's a pond or I, I should say rather a shallow pool. And this pool was built a long time back because there was a lot of excess and surplus water which used to gather in this area. Now the advantage of this pool is that it allows excess water to drain in here during times of heavy deluge. And then this water continues to penetrate or soak in into the ground over several days thereby watering the crops all around it. So it becomes a very automatic system where when we get rain, we manage to trap the rainfall here and then keep watering the plants for many days after because uh, it, you know, it may not rain after that for quite a few days. So this is an automatic kind of an irrigation system. And what we've done here, of course, you can see the corn crop standing, which we've planted for our hens to eat. But you will also find a lot of uh, moong dal or green gram growing between this uh, corn, corn uh, crop. Let me uh, show you a little bit of that. So you can see here the moong dal crop. You will see it's also growing some moong beans. And here is the corn standing right next to it. In fact, you will see some corn cobs starting to form as well. Now the moong dal is self-seeded. We have not planted it here, but it's grown on its own because this was the previous crop. And it's a rich nitrogen fixer. So the moong dal is actually providing good nitrogen to the maize crop. 
and at the same time getting some support from the maize if it needs it. The uh, moong dal crop is also something that spreads out on the ground thereby preventing weeds from growing and acts as a green mulch which is keeping the soil moist and covered through the whole crop season. You can see here to my right such a great sort of uh, combination of both the maize and the moong dal and you can see how rich and bushy the understory is and there is absolutely you know uh, no weed that we really need to get rid of or that's like preventing the growth of this crop. So this is sun garden and look at this beautiful plant here which is forming two cobs on it. And uh, you know this place has become so productive over the last six months. In fact this is the third crop we are taking from this area. We grew chana here uh, which is chickpea in the winter and you'll see that in episode 13 of what's growing. Then we planted moong dal here in the summer which is what has self seeded and is growing again. And this is the third crop we are taking from this area. And we're absolutely happy with the way this whole system has got set up here. Now let me take you for a little walk across the path and show you what's growing there as well. If you just see this whole patch behind me, just see the beautiful native trees which are growing here. Uh, you know, there's gulmohar at the back, there's people, there's a big banyan tree here. And what you see under it is a rich, dense crop of green gram or moong dal. So this is something we planted right now and it's, you know, taken over the whole ground. Seems to be doing pretty well. It's starting to flower now. It's a little bit uh, later than what you saw in under the corn because that was self-seeded. And uh, we are very, very optimistic of getting a really good uh, moong dal harvest from here this season. So this is really my sun garden and the work that we've been doing here over the last six months. Uh, you know, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of trees and how you should be imagining your farm as basically a forest and then growing crops under it. That is what builds resilience, uh, builds an automatic ecological cycle where nutrients are generated, mined and recycled and therefore you need very little intervention in terms of any external inputs like fertilizers or insecticides or pesticides. So uh, that's it from me. Uh, if you have interest in this way of farming, in permaculture, you can subscribe to our channel and see the rest of our videos. We've now published over a hundred videos on our channel. So that's it from me today. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.